welcome back to the Retro Tech Repair Shop. Today I have a Datsun 280Z radio remote control car purchased off of eBay. Uh, apparently the car works but the radio transmitter doesn't. Let's have a look what's inside the box. So some kind of radio control transmitter, single push button, the car looks like in pretty good condition, uh, this is made in Japan, it's got a fast position and a slow position, battery compartment that is uh, rather corroded set of instructions it is important to realize that you will require for using this excellent toy a license from the home office your car will have a tendency to pull to the right or left this can be corrected by adjusting the dial located near the right front tire of the undercarriage I think I will start with cleaning up the battery contacts and then put some batteries in, give it a try, see what happens. Just neutralise the alkali using some white wine vinegar. Okay, battery time. Slow speed, off, fast speed. I suspect the Two one and a half volt batteries are to run the motor. Yep. And this will be for the receiver unit, electronics for that. So it could be an issue with either the transmitter itself or the receiver electronics. Okay, okay batteries are in. Switch it on. Slow. When I press the transmit button, nothing happens. Okay, I'll open up the transmitter first, put the scope on it and see if it's transmitting a signal. Okay, this seems to have a double function. It seems to pick power up from the positive terminal through the spring. And that spring here presses on that, makes a contact, puts supply onto that, and then when you press this, goes off there. Okay, let's just try that. A little pin in here and press that 
obviously transmitting and receiving, picking that up. So it's definitely turning it to the left. According to the instructions, this is a, a double acting switch. It says to set the car in motion, gently press the black button. Okay, which causes the positive to be switched through onto the main board. Um, press both the black and the red at the same time for a left turn. The red button transmits the wave to control the car. And that makes a double contact then. Okay. Let's put the scope on and see if there's two frequencies generated or whether it uh, just changes from one to another one. Go on the antenna and the 0 volt. Okay. So when I press the center black button, the output to the scope goes up to 2.5. 54 volts RMS value changes. Let go, it drops back down to zero. So it's definitely transmitting. Okay, when I press them both together, it goes up to four. 4.4 .4 so it seems to be transmitting okay. Now it does anyway. The spring seemed to be, this pickup didn't seem to be in the right place when I opened it up. I'll put that back into position. I'll clean this contact up inside here. It's a bit of an intermittent contact at the moment. And move on to the car. Contaminated battery terminal here, some corrosion. That's the solenoid we saw operating that pushes the wheels over. Single acting solenoid. We know that works. And then just the receiver circuit, that's the aerial, which is attached, and the control card. Here. Let's take that off first. And, uh, sort out these connectors here, this cable here. Resolder these. I've had a quick look at the circuitry and it's a little bit misleading what it says in the instructions. I've got the impression that you had to press the button on the transmitter, the black one, for it to run forwards. But actually, the three volt supply, the two one and a half volt batteries, come in here and they come to this side of the switch. So the positive goes to the center point there and if you select onto the slow speed, it puts this resistor in circuit and puts the positive up to the motor and the negative just links through here down to here. And it's got a capacitor across here to stop I think, there's any sort of spikes from the motor, smooth it out a little bit. When you put the switch into the upper position, the fast speed, it takes it out, the resistor out of circuit, it's not selected anymore and it goes, the, the three volts goes directly onto the motor. Now I know that from the test already done that it does do that, it goes slow or it goes fast. So I thought this control card, this receiver unit here, actually um, switched the motor on and off, but it doesn't. 
So that's a bit of a red herring. The 9 volt supply is used up to the electronics. The negative comes in here. The positive goes to the center point of the switch. And then no matter if you select the fast speed or the slow speed, because they're linked together, it puts the 9 volts onto the board. Now we know when you press the button on here that the solenoid does move over. So maybe this is actually working. What I'm going to do is do the few repairs to the problems I can see. And then I'll do some voltage measurements to make sure I'm getting 3 volts and 9 volts up to the card. One point six volts slow speed, two point five eight volts fast speed, eight point six seven volts nine volt battery. The instructions with this did say to stop it picking up stray signals. So we've got this sort of spurious movement going on. Always ensure you're pressing the black button down and when you press that and it's transmitting the solenoid is completely stable so it's giving it a signal and setting a sort of threshold and it's maintaining that position when you press it all the way down it fires the solenoid over which changes the direction of movement so this appears all to be working, give this a try on the floor.